So we have talked about plasma cell dyscrasias, electrophoresis, multiple myeloma, the diagnosis and treatment of multiple myeloma, and today we will have a mnemonic. In the next video, we'll have a case, actually like 25 cases about the subject of multiple myeloma because it's really important. Without further ado, let's get started. By the way, I have lots of mnemonics today and they get better as you watch. So if the first mnemonic you didn't like, okay, just stay tuned and stick around because it gets better. First, evidence of end organ damage, you have crab. So you can forget crab, but if you draw like a carton of milk and then a sad kidney and then a pale person and then like a bone with multiple punched outlytic lesions, you will never forget it, okay? So high calcium, renal insufficiency, anemia, and bone lesions. Calcium is usually greater than 11. Next mnemonic, it gets better, okay? Here is the patient of multiple myeloma. Old guy, median age is 70. Okay, I have headache, blurry vision, and vertigo. Why does he have these symptoms? because it's a hyperviscosity syndrome. These M proteins are nasty and they are everywhere. He has bone lesions and the lytic, punched out lytic lesions can be seen on x-ray only and not on bone scan, also known as nuclear scan. Only the x-ray, okay. Then he's saying, take that milk out of here. I've had enough hypercalcemia, so don't give him milk, okay? He has hypercalcemia. Why hypercalcemia? Because of the bone lesions. Because when you destroy bone, you end up with hypercalcemia because bone only has two things, matrix and minerals. And of the minerals, you have calcium. Okay, next. There is bone pain. There is radiculopathy. Radiculopathy is a pathology of the nerve as it leaves the spinal cord as it leaves the spinal cord. And to diagnose radiculopathy, you need an MRI. Okay, old age, of course, you can see that. Infection, why infection? Because when you have lots of immunoglobulins of only one subtype, i.e. monoclonal, you will have less of IgE, and less of IgA, and less of IgD, and less of whatever, okay? So even though one of them is super high, it's not helping you because all of the others are low, okay? And you'll end up with infection. Hyperuricemia, that's why I drew like a big toe. Neuropathy, such as carpal tunnel syndrome. High ESR, that's why he's holding his test tubes. This is his urinary bladder because it has Benz Jones proteins in the urine, okay? And there is hyperviscosity leading to these symptoms, as you know. So here comes the nice doctor. You seem too confused, my friend. Yes, doctor. Of course he is confused because he has hypercalcemia. Stupid doctor. I'll need to stick a needle into your bone. That's true. We need a bone marrow biopsy showing greater than 10% of the bone marrow being made of plasma cells, which are monoclonal. Okay, so we have this mnemonic. We just tried the word myeloma. By the way, there is another hilarious mnemonic coming after this, so stay tuned. M is for the M spike. Y is you better check the calcium. And Y for lytic lesions. And lytic lesions will lead to you need to check the calcium. E is for ESR, E elevation. L is for light chains in the urine. They're called Benz Jones or paraproteins. O for ouch, my bones hurt. M for myeloma nephrosis, also known as my kidneys failing. And there is also marrow plasma cytosis, greater than 10%. Very cool. A is for anemia, which is normocytic, normochromic. Notice you have an uppercase M and a lowercase M. The uppercase M for the M spike on electrophoresis and the lowercase m is for beta to micro, small microglobulin, okay? Just another mnemonic. You need a third mnemonic on this? Okay, try to pronounce this word backwards. It looks like amyloid to me, but you have to change this m and to draw a d here. So just stay with me. 
just checking this and let's make it a D. So now it's amyloid. Okay. And D for dialysis. Why do we need dialysis? Two things. First, the kidney is failing. And second, because you have increased bleeding time and this will be corrected on dialysis. Okay, the upcoming mnemonic is not for everybody. Okay, so I've warned you. Okay, proceed at your own risk. Okay, you didn't go away. Okay, here is the plasma cell and here's a mnemonic about the plasma cell. So here is Ms. Plasma Cell. Okay, nice to meet you. And she is telling this young doctor, hey, do you want to see my perinuclear halo? Okay, of course, we are talking about the plasma cell here. Okay, bad people. My is dark blue. Of course, she's talking about the cytoplasm of the plasma cell. Okay, she's talking about the cytoplasm. So my cytoplasm is dark blue. And then the nice gentleman replies and says, can I stick the needle now? Of course, we are talking about bone marrow biopsy. What are you thinking about? And the bone marrow biopsy will show greater than 10% of plasma cells. This guy is a pathologist. So the plasma cell continues. Do you want to see my perinuclear halo? I have lots of RERs to show. And my is dark blue. We can do Rolo together all night before my alarm goes off, revealing my clock face chromatin. Is this medicine? Yes, it is. Okay. Do you want to see my perinuclear halo? Why? Because plasma cells have perinuclear halo. Okay, this white rim surrounding the nucleus. Lots of RERs. Why? Because it needs to synthesize lots of aminoglobulins. This is the job of the plasma cells. I have vacuoles with IgGs. Maybe I have some vacuoles here and they contain what? Aminoglobulins. Sorry, aminoglobulins. Not necessarily IgG, but any aminoglobulin. And my cytoplasm is dark blue. We can do Rolo together all night. Why is that? Because on blood film or peripheral smear, you have Rolo formation. Before my alarm goes off, revealing my clock face chromatin, yes, the plasma cell is described by pathologist as having clock face chrom chromatin. Plasma cell occupies 10% of the room. Okay, that's why Miss Plasma Cell probably knows multiple men, multiple myeloma. Okay. So when you have lots of plasma cell, this is multiple myeloma. Now, look at that. Still here, we have two things. We have the interleukin-6, because it's involved in the pathogenesis of multiple myeloma. And we have cluster differentiation 138, okay? Also associate, also found in multiple myeloma. Sometimes, Metacosis Perfectionalis is very creative, such as today. So please don't forget to subscribe. I'd like to see you on Facebook. Consider supporting this channel on Patreon. And some of you will get, when you go to Patreon, will get all of my notes, such as these notes that I'm drawing right now, including Mrs. Plasma Cell or Miss Plasma Cell. You can view, download, print, and enjoy. They are all in PDF format. So please go ahead to my Patreon page to get that Dropbox link. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. And don't look at Ms. Plasma Cell for too long.